This video will focus on how to connect to a virtual machine that is not exposed to the outside world directly. In this instance, we have a Windows Server 2019 virtual machine that we will use, that we will connect to via remote desktop protocol, RDP, when the VM is only connected to the SDN. Our notable alligator virtual machine, Server 2019, has had remote desktop turned on for the operating system. We do this by browsing to the control panel, selecting system, the remote tab, and then allow remote connections to this computer. Once that's done, we need to go and expose the port as a node port through OpenShift. Now we could do this two ways. First, I could browse to the services here. I can create a service using YAML, just as you would any other service. I can do that from the GUI. I can do that from this, the command line as well. However, in this instance, I'm going to use the vertcuttle command line tool in order to do a shortcut. First, from our command line, let's make sure that we are in the right project. And we can review the virtual machines that are, that are in this namespace. We have our notable alligator and our visiting primate. I can also do an OC git VMI to see the running virtual machines that are inside of this namespace. Notable alligator is the running virtual machine. It is running on node worker zero. I now want to use vert control expose. I'm going to do a dash dash help here so that we can view all of the different information that's available. I will quickly copy the name of this particular virtual machine so that we can use it in the next command. Now notice that this vert control expose port 22 is very similar to what we want to do. We just want to expose port 3389 as opposed to 22 for RDP access to our virtual machine. So I'm gonna copy that command. By selecting the type as node port, we are going to associate port 3389 with a port on the physical node that the virtual machine happens to be running on. So we've successfully created the service. If I do an OC get service, we'll see that we have our Windows RDP service that has been created here. We see that it is exposing port 3389 as 32540. Now remember that our virtual machine was running on node worker zero. We can confirm that by using OC get VMI. We see that it is running on worker zero. In order to connect to the console of our VM via RDP, we need to bring up remote desktop. This is the Microsoft Remote Desktop Tool or client for macOS. I'm going to select the option with Command K to do a quick connect. We can see that I have already tested this. So I'm going to connect on the appropriate port, the port that was just used or defined in the last command. So you can see 32540 for our port name matches the 32540 that was used over here in our service. I want to select some options here, display. We'll go ahead and choose default. Uh, we'll let it start in the full screen session and go ahead and connect to our virtual machine. We log in using the a user. Now this is not a domain joined virtual machine, right? It just had the initial administrator configured. So that's the user that we will use to connect. Accept the self-signed certificate and in a moment it will connect to the virtual machine and we'll have access to the console. So this has been one method of connecting to the console of a virtual machine. You can of course connect through VNC directly against OpenShift virtualization. If you are using a Linux host, you can expose VNC for the, the virtual machines console through the operating system, the guest operating system, and among several other ways, including connecting directly to an external network. Thank you for watching and please keep an eye out for additional videos on OpenShift virtualization in the future.